for the education of girls. I am delighted that some members from both these organizations are here today to help us celebrate our birthday. <coughs> and it gives us an opportunity to say thank you personally. We are a hard-working, fun-loving club and enjoy giving to good causes. The compulsion can sometimes lead us to interesting situations. A member had the urge to part with her dime. She said to the tramp, I give you a dime, not because you deserve it, mind, but because it pleases me. The tramp replied, Thank you. Could you make it a quarter? and thoroughly enjoy yourself. <laughs> Our second member heard a young Saturday assistant who was very honest and hardworking, complaining that her clothes were shabby and was ashamed to go to the school party. From our expenses, we purchased a dress for which she was eternally grateful. The following Saturday, the girl was not at work. So the member asked her boss, to which she replied. We rang her mother. The mother replied, why madam, my girl looks so respectable now, thanks to your friends, that I thought I would send her out around the town today to see if she could get a better job in her new outfit. <laughs> so sometimes I help them go astray. Today I'd like to say thank you to Anne for arranging this evening and to Janet for the name cards. And of course to Bert for keeping me on a linear course. To all my club members, a big thank you for giving me their support, friendship, and fellowship, and with my executive's help, were Lil, Marion, Leslie, Peggy, and Molly for making my task so easy. Without Marion Bolton and her daughter Julie's help, we would not have been able to send out all our letters and communication. Thank you, Alan, for helping us out with our accounts and for the prompt delivery. And of course, to Yaka, my family, and my staff for putting up with me on my bad days. <laughs> the hospitality shown to us by the golf club for all our events have been exceptional. And again, a big thank you to Russell for allowing us to use the new boardroom. And of course, to Mark, and his staff. They did us proud at the tea afternoon, and of course today, he has done us proud again. And I think he deserves a big applause from all of us. I hope you have enjoyed the entertainment from Keith, a local lad, a local lad from our minister. tremendously. Yakis and Dennis are both very fortunate to have wives like us. <laughs> I wish Eileen a successful and an enjoyable year, though it is, I understand, the fifth time round as a president. By this time, it's during her Sapphire wedding anniversary. Congratulations, and we all wish you well, Eileen, as we all continue to remember what Audrey Pollard, our association president, said at the end of the conference. If it is to be, it is up to me. Eileen, I'm your president. <laughs>